So did you hear about the uh, BLM protester who dropped an N-bomb in a crowd of people and then used rap music to justify it? So here we have a story from uh, Mr. Paul Joseph Watson, a leftist, and he drops a video clip provided from Steve America First, MAGA, Keep America Great. We'll just dive right into this bad boy. It's a conflict on the street between this COVID mask adorned moron uh, trying to play tough guy and get in people's face. Let's see what he says. What did you just say? What did he say? Oh! What did you just say? What did you say to him? That was a hard R, too. He's gonna call, I think. Hmm. I said to do something. No, what'd you say after that? Nigga, with an A. So, with an A? <laughs> I don't think it was an, I don't think it was with an A. Not that it really matters. Like, I don't think uh, you're allowed to say that, my guy. Hey. So you're here for Black Lives Matters, but you're using the N-word. What the fuck are you here for? No. Oh, Dems are the real racists, which they kind of are, but not that that term has that much validity. I'm you're just curious. Lazy, motherfucker. Where did you, where did I'm you just curious. You're using the n-word but you're here for black lives matter you, you you really honestly live in america in 2020 <laughs> Unbelievable. but you don't know the difference between a hard er on the end of the n-word and an a <laughs> so you're saying white you, people can say that white i just did oh he just did he just copped to it in the age of cancel culture he's that confident dude in the cancel culture mob age he's that confident that he won't be he won't suck him to that that's that's pretty that's pretty ballsy dude and pretty well you know it's pretty accurate, um, and as if if he he I don't think he even did soften the R, but he didn't. Not 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 that that matters. Um, you know, <laughs> like what the fuck? This guy's guy right. a dope. And you know which white guy specifically? The one who's been standing over there for hours oh. holding a Black Lives Matter sign. So oh that means you can wow! Everyone, you white, <laughs> white cook. He said cuck. Is he a plant? I mean, why would he use that word? To appeal to what he perceives as a 4chan using, 4chan dwelling Trump supporter, so he uses the cuck word while <laughs> saying he can use the N word because, hey man, it's current year, rap music, and I'm holding a cardboard BLM sign in the middle of traffic. That's why he can use drop the N bombs. That's pretty peculiar. It means whatever you say, whatever you want. Trump supporting fool. Hey, you're the one <laughs> holding the BLM sign and using the N word. Yeah, the epitome of cock, pretty much. Wrap that together. So have you never listened to rap music? There's probably the I would guess there are 320 million people in the United States. Yeah. Probably 319 million of them have heard rap music at some point. Have you? Yeah, he takes the mask down to talk about how. Yeah, this is something that I talked about before. Like, yeah, you you're a white person in America and you're having all this marketing of rap culture, hip hop, B-boy, whatever fubu culture shoved down your throat in the nineties and two thousands. That's fairly commonplace. Um, you know, but it, this guy's not really aware of it. He's just trying to be black or something and trying to be down with the cause, knowing that he can say that B-boy shit because there's no black people around because it's, beta cuck feminist blm lives matter protest and i think the the brothers only really turn out for the looting aspect and the rioting violent aspect <laughs> but uh i don't know this guy's ridiculous man do not so that means that we can say have whatever you heard we hear. rap music that means we can have say you whatever we heard it in your life oh it's flagging heard it in your life that means that we can say whatever so we have hear you heard the rap, rap music the rap so music you justifies know it <laughs> on the end of that word and an er i'd love to so see ER you use that. Is what people like you say people oh really like you say but he never like said it yeah, you have no you idea what i say fucking, oh, or you're in a fact, liberal in fact you're standing I, over here talking to a cop fuck you and everything you in stand fact for. i'm the one who I <laughs> so he's on camera using not even a soft r a hard r and then he just falsely accuses this dude of using the hard r but we have him on camera using the hard r what an idiot just digging his hole Deeper and deeper, and he should have quit while he was ahead, like, 16 seconds ago. He should have been like, oh, yeah, my bad, dude. I shouldn't have used that. You had a problem with you saying fuck. it. You goofy fuck. Goofy that fuck. That shows you fucking dumbass, that shows or Trump supporter, whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> what did you say? The N-word with an A on the end. Have you honestly never heard that? You've never yeah. listened to rap music? Just very never curious. With- He's trying to pull, like, a Joe Rogan or something, but... He has no self-awareness whatsoever and how stupid he looks to the average viewer, dude. This is ridiculous, dude. 
unbelievable. And he's got the COVID Tifa virtue signaling diaper face mask off. And he's letting all the pathogens in. And he's losing virtue signaling points. All the black people. It's very curious. So you really don't have a point here. You're just running your fucking mouth. You stupid fucking white guy. <laughs> Fuck stupid fucking. Wow. And then he ends with the anti white guy rhetoric and like the threatened, feigned backhand slap. So yeah, he gets all aggressive and goop, goofy fucking white. C word. Um. Yeah, he then claims because rap music exists, he's allowed to use the N-word, a justification which is dismissively scorned in every other instance when it is used. Yeah, I mean, for good reason. I mean, it's a stupid justification to say anything for any reason. I mean, just own what you're going to say. Like, don't use stupid excuses, right? The agitator ends the conversation by accusing the other person of being a stupid... Yep, we caught that. Yeah, and it's needless to say, as... PJW points out, if Trump supporters walked around calling people the N-word at a Black Lives Matter protest, they'd probably be attacked by a mob and beaten half to death. Of course they wouldn't do that, and the one-off time they would do that, you know, whatever. But we have countless examples of Antifa and BLM psychos, like, you know, just calling black cops racial slurs, calling black, um, and otherwise... Um, right wingers, a bunch of slurs and epithets. We have all kinds of examples of that. But of course, this guy's allowed to do it because he's holding a small piece of cardboard with the letters BLM written on it. So <laughs> that's America today.